The council ain't gonna change police reform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 baby, I want to come back to that show, okay? I got you. Which I'm, I'm ready for the police reform. Oh! I oh, really want to come back for that I show. I can talk about that every day. Okay. Every day. Every day. Those, those, those rules, each police department got a different it ain't, it ain't just It ain't just police. What? We need to reform the way we recruit firemen and EMS. Everything well, needs to change. It's really the Constitution. Okay. The forefathers, Jefferson said it. Every 20 years, we got to change it. The shit ain't you're been right, changed, and the shit ain't been changed since the beginning. Thank you. So what are we talking about? Because we don't have progressive, forward-thinking politicians. And even my all this won. one, my all this one, the press, what's they, in a few months, you about to figure out who's running for the president again. The president can't even do his job because he got to go run again. All that shit got to be erased. All that got to be erased. The president can't do shit, now he got to run again. Well, all right. This one has done quite a bit. Huh? <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. He, he didn't done a lot. A lot. He didn't done a lot uh, to rebuild some of that shit. But the thing is that you're right, and then you know everybody knows I wasn't a Chantel fan. I'm still not a Chantel fan. Um, Leave my hood alone. She look good. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but she she lacked the huh? knowledge to be in that seat. Say that. And I'm gonna say that. You. you might be biased. No, I'm biased on shit. No, I do too. I came back home and I'm like, what on the fish? She's not ready. The only reason she got elected is because everybody thinks she cute. And she out here rapping and shit and tearing on because she been around Bone Thugs and Harmony fucking around with them when she was trying to come up through the ranks. But she ain't got the fortitude up here to pass no legislation. And what people are forgetting is she still got to run against Laverne Gore. Next she's year. a republic. No, she got to run in, in November. November. And then she's got to run again she, next year. Thank you. She yeah, that was, that, was that, that was the primary. Because there was only a 4,000 That was the primary. The general, she got to run against Laverne the Gore. primary she run against this year. Laverne Gore, so she and that's the first that time in a long yet. time that anyone well, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Push, 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 push. Laverne Gore is a black republican, and ain't nobody going to know Republican. They're going to look for her. They're going to look for her. Who? I'm going to take that. So I don't think that. Who wins? Who wins? Let's see. 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 In May of next year, uh, so if she does win, as soon as she get next seat, she got to start campaigning all over again. Woo, okay. Just okay. Just all right. Right. All right. And with that close margin, uh, whoever uh, ends up going against her next year, well, uh, if they're a heavy hitter, let's let's go because Cassandra is here with the with the with um, Paige's mom. So let's get to, let 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 Sherry call out the receipts and let's get okay, to this okay, debate. Please. I'm, there, it's gonna be phone calls. Please stop looking at your phone. All right. Talk I'm, to the guest. I'm gonna talk to the guest. All right. Phone ringing. Let's go. All right. Phone is phone ringing now. Phone, let's go. All right. Mm-hmm. And we're back. And we're back with the headline. I right. thank you very much for that heated discussion. Shout out to Sasada McDonald uh, for coming down here, and you know, I'm, hopefully y'all enjoyed that extended break. Hopefully nobody didn't kill each other while I was out. So. Ain't nobody uh, everybody's alive. Everybody's still, everybody's still alive and smiling. Thank yeah, we good. You. All right, okay, all right. So. Except for T, I need to check on his pressure. Uh, you know what? You need a pressure pill. Leave that boy. Leave that boy. Leave, leave my engineer. Leave the engineer alone. You never. See, he's not taking my foot. Uh, never mess well, with it. Let us hear this heated conversation, man. Uh, you know. Let let. All right. All right, uh, <laughs> all right, Sherry. You brought some receipts about somebody who was a. C- candidate, yeah, a phone call. candidate for war five. Let's go to the phone. Hello, caller, are you there? Okay, who is this, sir? I knew it. I knew it. Hey, what's up, James? How you doing, James?
preach. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Come on with it. Come on. Come on with it. Council. Yeah. Mm. But you taking money from him? Some of them got felonies. Okay. Mm -hmm. They know. They know. This. Let, uh, The reason you Yep. Mm -hmm. Say that, Jay. Nothing. All right, so. Well, I have to. I, I understand that. I understand that. All right. All right. You All right, too. James, thank you, thank James. You. All right, and the, re and, and the answer to James's question is <laughs> the apathetic. It's the same damn reason that Kenneth Johnson was able to come back and, and, and run for council again and steal all the people's money in the frick in, 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 in Ward 4. And I'm glad that his, I'm glad that his old black ass is in jail. And I hope that if you go to see Councilman Johnson, former Councilman Johnson, that you go to Target because him and his husband Butch are registered there for their all their wedding needs. You are dead wrong. I you am not. My but, name is Sherry Bowman and I do not approve <laughs> of that message. And, and then it, I want to I want to just come back to what what um James said about a lot of these democratic candidates are getting republican money. Mm -hmm. If you look at their sheets, if you look at their finance reports, you will see that they are being funded by a lot of Republicans in the city. You know why they're taking this money? Because what they're doing is when these Republicans contribute to their campaigns, they're going in under the presumption that you're going to do something for me because I'm about to give you this money. Mm -hmm. They got them putting their accepted all. And it all people follow know the money trail. And you got to follow the money. Mm -hmm. And I have always said, always said, since day one I started this show, you got to be careful with these Democrats. Because some of these Democrats are closet Republicans. Aren't some aren't some of the Republicans are closet Democrats when they aren't some That's why I always say all Democrats 
ain't good and all Republicans ain't bad. You got to know and understand what it means to be bipartisan. You got to know what it means to understand who is bringing what is best for your community. You got to understand what legislation is being passed so that you can inform yourself on whether or not you want to get on board. You got to learn how to reach across the aisles to the Republicans and say, hey, listen, bro, that ain't good for me and my people. We need to sit down and have a conversation well, and rewrite right. this. Well, here's the thing. Aren't all of them like that? When they want something from the other party, aren't all of them pretty much like that? When no. they want something from the other party? No. Whoa, whoa, that's how everybody acts. I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's, the, it's, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's everybody for themselves now. <laughs> right. When anybody wants something from somebody, they go, you got to get yeah, it. Yeah, they Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to segue this into something, y'all. Let me segue. Go, go yeah. You said you wanted some more receipt. So we're talking about that dude down in Ward 5 again. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you know. The, the Chantel put him in the Washington Post or the Baltimore Sun or some hey. national paper, Ooh, and they, they she talked about how she was going door to door with him, and she and he endorsed her, and then a couple of months later, he he plays Chantel and hosts a fundraiser for, for, Nina. for Nina. Receipt right there. Receipt it right here, and I seen it in 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 Garden View Hill Park. I saw it because somebody sent it to me, and I saw where he called himself endorsing Chantel, and then when he got what he wanted out of that situation, he went on down the road here, and he going to come back, and he going to try to support Sister Turner. Now, bro, you got to pick which side of the fence you're going to be on. You can't be on one end of the fence and then be at another end of the fence. That's the problem that we got going on in this city. People are suffering from this whipham effect, what's in it for me, and they're going for what's in it for them, and they are not taking these seats to do what is best by the people that they are elected to serve. You are a servant to the people that put you there. You are a servant. You need to understand servant leadership. All of them need to understand servant leadership. None of them do. Well, Jay, all he understands is being on TV and talking to Layla Tassi from Cleveland.com. For some reason, she yeah. didn't wrote like nine articles on him in the past four years. Seriously, real talk, real talk, a whole series right. so, about, you want some more receipt? Well, oh, uh, go uh, to, go to the uh, county municipal court website, the city municipal court website, and check this dude's record. Uh, this dude got a record going back as early as 2016. 2007. Are they felonies or misdemeanor shit? Uh, well, a couple of them started out as felonies, but if you get we enough good enough lawyer, they will plead them down. But what's really concerning about his record is from 2011 to 2021, and yeah, I did the math on this. He worked for the uh, Boys and Girls Club, okay? He drives kids, well, at least until he became a director, and then they say he stopped. But how do you drive kids for the Boys and Girls Club and from 2011 to 2021, your driver's license suspended more times than it ain't. Revolt. Six point suspension. And this is take all you, public record, people. Take you two years to get to court. His you last know, ticket was in 2020. Y'all can't, that's like we were just talking on the break. I mean, the police job is to ride around and look for dark people and give tickets. Bruh. Y'all can't hate on Bro, I, to go for that. I was a taxi the cab the driver for job. 30 years. I got tickets. Yes, you play a little here and there to get your <laughs> fine down, but you do not, do not have driver's, li have driver's license less than the time you do have them. Okay. That's just unheard of. Okay. That, and, you, and you are responsible for children? All right. That's unheard of. All right, Sherry. Who allowed that? Uh, 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 I got a question for you. What? I got some before we started the show. Somebody was in my in inbox because I advertised that you were going to be on here. Uh, Governor Christopher Thor. Thor. Oh yeah. So the thing about it is, is that with all this being said, with all this is going on, I'm just going to ask. The, I'm going to play devil's advocate. Sure. Why doesn't? Why hasn't there been a debate in Ward 5 or a forum between the Ms. Gray, Mr. Starr, and whoever else is running for Ward 5? Okay. As I currently said, 
at the beginning of the you show. You're not involved. I, 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 cur I do not work for Councilwoman Gray. Mm -hmm. I do believe she's the very best candidate, and she's going to be an excellent Councilwoman. But this subject has been brought up time and time and time again. And everywhere Dolores speaks, someone like that dude is standing, is sitting there taking notes, and then two or three days later, mm -hmm. Richard's saying the same thing. Go you talking about Governor Thorpe? Yes. Okay. So, okay. Well, he's been following, pretty much stalking Dolores. And oh, yeah, and, and stalking me and talking about me and saying I don't live in Ward 5, so why do I care? Well, fool, I can work in Ward 5. That's why I care. Mm. All right? I have devoted a lot of volunteer hours registering people to vote the right way. Not at, not at one address, okay? The right way in Ward 5. The problem that we have in Ward 5 is that we are a transient ward. So people come into the CMH and low-income housing, they, they, they do what it's supposed to do. They build themselves up, they get a job, mm -hmm. they move out, mm -hmm. but they forget to register. All right, all right. Yep. Okay. And a new address. So we always have to constantly register people to vote. And that's what I do with uh, Mobilize the Vote for the past two years. We go strictly in CMHA projects and HUD houses, homes and residents and register these people to vote. It's a constant battle. Right. They said we had 12,000 people on the rolls in 2020 for the last presidential election, when actually there was literally about eight. They, they, they got on mm. us all day about our low voter turnout, but out of those 8,000 votes that actually live down there, we turned out 5,000. So how does that look for you now? How does that look to you now? Marissa, mm -hmm. Marissa, do you want to comment on that? Because you organize as far as get a GTOV. So you want to say, what, you want to comment on what Sherry just said? So as far as percentages, when you say that it's 5,000 out of 8,000, those are definitely, definitely far better numbers. And I do understand the transient community issue because that's not just a Ward 5 issue. That's so many, so many areas that have issues as far as transient population. Yeah, Ward 7 and 14 both have right. transient issues. And, yeah, when you factor that in. Because I even know mm -hmm. back back before I had moved away and then come back, Yeah. Um, I remember doing phone banking and I would get frustrated and then I would just start trying to canvas as much as possible to get commit cards or whatever to mm -hmm. try and find ways to update information. Because I'm like, this is not going to reach people until we rebuild the universe. Okay, that so we've bought from. chicken, we've cooked hot dogs and hamburgers. We give away t shirts. These people. Whatever <laughs> it takes to get them to vote, we're willing to do. But to answer Christopher Thorpe's question, Go the ahead. reason why Dolores, I think Dolores Gray is not willing to have a candidate forum or debate with Richard Starr or Deron Smith or whomever is because, one, she's the incumbent. Two, she doesn't have to. She knows what she's already doing. And why give them more information so they can turn around and use it against them? And that's why she doesn't want to do it. All right. So the, the one thing that I do wonder with that is if there is a concern about them taking her ideas, um, go ahead, still meet them on the debate stage, even have a follow-up. And then if someone is taking what she said from the first time, you have sound bites, and it can be very clearly pointed out, like, no, that's exactly what's happened, the same way you have things that you've printed out as far as receipts. Okay, and I get you, but we're not talking your Ward 1 crowd, just your voters. We're talking a lower level of voter sophistication, okay? And we have to all admit that. In You're the right. city of Cleveland, You're right. there's different levels of I'm voter sophistication. Uh, sophistication. I'm going to get you a job. It's good enough in some areas. Mm. I, I'm going to do better than the last person. I'm going to give you some get damn gift cards. I'm going to give you some <laughs> gift cards. What? Uh, right. so, there's different levels of voter sophistication. So if we're uh, talking uh, uh. to people in Ward 1, then there's absolutely, I would say, a level of, I mean, a, a candidate form that could be had. But we're talking, mm. we're talking a different level of voter sophistication and when you it's kind of like that debate y'all saw when people start talking about real ideas 
-hmm. and real plans and, and Kevin Kelly's job program, when you start really getting into what you want to do, the level of sophistication of people that can actually understand it goes down. Mm -hmm. Another example, I was at Award 7 candidate forum on Saturday. TJ on one end, Stephanie on the other. It's going to be the, uh, the Thriller in Manila part two, okay? Because they're they going to be going at each other. All the other candidates had not held public office before. They have been some type of community activist. So they're talking to people on the level yeah, in which they understand, exactly. okay? All right? TJ and Stephanie, you know they got the political chops because they've been in public office. Right. They're right. elected officials. That's right. So they're talking. I'm expecting, okay, well, you know, this is going to pick up at some point. But when you look at the people that you're talking to, you have to really be creative in crafting your and message. And folks where they're at. So exactly. That everyone's on the same page. Exactly. Well. All right, so mm -hmm. now that we're, uh, uh, pretty much now that we got that out the way. <laughs> okay, uh, so you telling me to move on. No, no, no. Down. No, no, no. Here's the thing. We're going to do the gr the grading of the debate last night. You brought that up, so yes, we're going to bring it. We're going to bring it up. So I'm going to start with the grading, and y'all agree with me or not. So the first person I'm going to grade is Ross DiBello. Um, Ross wasn't as old shucks as he was in the first one. So I'm going to give Ross, I gave him a C minus the last time, I think. I'm going to give him a B minus. I gave him a B minus. I'm going to keep it there with the B minus because he's dealing with a whole bunch of, you know, over the top people in that race. So anybody that disagrees or agrees with me giving Ross a B minus? I disagree. What because you, what you want to give first him? First of all, he's a, he's a fish out of water. Okay, let's start there. Right. I'm being, night, I'm being generous. Uh, and that's the problem. We being too generous around here sometimes. <laughs> that's the problem. He's, a, he's up there on, on this debate stage. He was a fish out of water. He, to me, he's just doing it for a tax write-off. Okay, if that's what you're doing it for, I get it. Or maybe you're getting the experience to gear up maybe four, eight years down the road. You may try this again. So, and you gave him a what? A B? B minus. I'm going to give him an F. Failing. Next. Uh, let's go. Damn. All right. That's harsh. Oh, so... Uh, and the thing about it is, I got, I had it, and the thing, I actually was going to drop his grade to a C because he wasn't at the lead safe thing. I got to give a couple of shout outs. Lead safe thing at City Hall. Shout out to Jeff Mixon, Yvonne Hall, and it's going to surprise you, Jay. I'm going to give a shout out to Angela Y. Davis and Al Porter Jr. for setting everything up. So, yeah, I give him, yeah, give every, uh, you know, give that. So, the next person I'm going to go with is the only woman in the race is Sandra Williams. I gave her an A+. Plus. I'm going to keep her at an A+. Plus. I agree. I believe that she's consistent and she's steadfast in her presentation. And she doesn't fall prey to some of the traps that some of the others tend to on the debate stage. Jay? No, I do not agree with your... Um, oh, so what you going to give her? I, I'm going to give her a C. And I'm going to give her that C for effort. I think that she could do a lot more. <laughs> um, I think that she's oh. kind of holding back. Um, I think that she likes to stay in that safe zone um, because she is a woman, but she needs to get a little radical and she needs to make some good trouble and make her voice heard. Next. All right. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. All right, so Sherry. I get say, yeah, go ahead, Sandra. Sherry. I, I, I think Sandra gets a B plus. I don't think she gets an A. I think she presented really, really well. She did. She had good command of her facts. She knew what she wanted to say. She articulated it. It made sense. And it, if I can hear it on TV and it makes sense, then you can visualize somebody maybe perhaps doing it. The reason why she doesn't get the A for me is I'd like her to be a little, a tad bit more confrontational. Mm -hmm. Take on one of these two, especially, you know, number seven. All okay, right. take them on. All right. All right. Next, sex, next person. And we're going to get into the nitty-gritty with this. I'm going to go with um, Justin Bibb. I gave him an A-plus last time. I'm going to give him an A-minus this time. Uh, and the thing about it is he is steadfast. And even when somebody threw that question out as far as him being on the RTA board, Mr. Reed, he came back with it. 
I think the problem is is that he is probably going to be overwhelmed by some of the off the wall people that I'm going to mention next. So Jay, Sherry, <laughs> Marissa, Marissa. What, what did you what did you give him? I gave him an A minus. Okay. Well, what, what you were going to say, Marissa? I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Everybody scared? What? Who's scared? I'm not scared. Well, go okay. ahead, Marissa. You said Jay, Sherry, uh, and like, Marissa. Well, Marissa, <laughs> Marissa, you go first. Marissa, go first. So, obviously, we already know I, I do like Justin because I do like the experience that he has for years as a consultant to mayors in other places in the country. I feel like that could definitely be a benefit here because one of the problems is that as you were saying that a lot of people don't necessarily know how things work, uh -huh. I do feel that that experience does lend, you know, an understanding of how things work. And I, I do believe that, you know, some people view him not having the political right. path uh -huh. as something being to his detriment. But I think that in a city where people have gotten so comfortable with the same faces all of the time, and even like we were talking about people just kind of pimping it, I think that it's kind of refreshing to have someone who is not entrenched in those bad habits right. yet. So on the she day. said yes. Yeah, uh, you know, but look, we'll wait, like a wait and see moment. The thing about it is, is, like Justin also was down there at the Let's Safe thing with y with Yvonka and Jeff Mixon speaking. So you know, the thing about it is, is like it's an added plus. If you're gonna be there, you're gonna if you're gonna be there, if you're gonna be there, be there. And lead, and lead poisoning is, you know, shout out to New Voices for talking about lead poisoning and getting your water tested for lead because that affects our affects us as adults and our children, especially our children with their young minds. Jay, you want to give a grade to Justin? I'm afraid what this is going to be. You gave him a what? I gave him an A-. What did you give him, Marissa? I actually would agree. A little bit later? Yeah. I'm going to give him a C. Here's why I'm going to give him a C. Okay. He may be good at what he's done, and I've known Justin for quite some time. And I know that, you know, former Mayor Michael R. White came out today and endorsed him. I have mm. much respect for Mike wow. White. Yeah, White. Mike White, yeah, he did. Yeah. I have much respect for Mike White. Right. But I ain't riding with him on this one. And, and he gets a C from me because he, he says what we all want to hear, and he touches on what I say is the flavor of the week topic. Um, do I think that he would do good in a mayoral seat right now at his age? Um, no. He has not come up through the ranks. I think if you're really going to try and move a city like Cleveland forward, you're going to need to be in some type of other forms of political seat before you try to go and grab one of the big seats and run with the big dogs. You should have either been a precinct committee person, you should have either been on the county council seat, or you should have been running for some kind of city council seat. Because you do not have that political acrimony that I need to see that you're going to do what is best and what is right by the people of Cleveland. We have been downtrodden for far too long to allow someone that does not have the notebook on what it is that he needs to do. People can, Isn't that the problem, they can though? string him because he's going to be strong from the back. He, he's going to be strong from the back. People are going to be telling him how to dance, when to dance when to stop dancing, when to go to the bathroom, when to get up in the morning, he's going to be orchestrated. He's going to be orchestrated. So I'm going to give him a C because he ain't where I need him to be right now, and I ain't too comfortable with him. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Sherry, what about oh, 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 Justin? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> my, my name is Sherry Bowman, and I do not approve that message. <laughs> uh, I met Justin. I've talked, had several conversations with him. He's a very intelligent young man. Uh, I like him. Mm -hmm. Based on what I heard last night, it didn't move me one way or the other. Right. It was just consistent. So I would consistently give Justin a B. All right. So and this city ain't ready for him. His 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 thoughts and what he wants to do and how he wants to move this city forward and how he wants to kind of make it like San Francisco, these cities out west and all that. They not ready for that. These old heads ain't ready for that. Well, the problem, that's the problem. I'm telling you, that now, is they a, ain't not ready That for is it. the damn problem. Wait, like they that's should be. play against him. Like, like, what if, what, what if at you, this point, okay. all of our population will have left by the time they're. By the time we get somebody with, with, with progress, 
There would be, there, we don't have to count the census in Cleveland because there ain't going to be no motherfucking party left. I got a child that already left for Alabama. Shit. It ain't no party now. What, what was you going to say, T? Uh, um, I'm going to leave my comments to myself. A lot of folks All right. have to leave. Okay. Shoot. Who's next? All right. Let's get down to um, <clears throat> Methuselah. Uh, Dennis Kucinich. I gave him... A C the last time. Now I'm thoroughly disappointed. Like he was, and I'm gonna keep it that way. The only reason I didn't lo- drop his grade on the headline I curve is because he was down to the lead safe. The problem I have with Kucinich is that you like the thing about it is, is like first of all, why are you running? Second of all, what's your point? Third of all, what is wrong with you going after Kevin Kelly? And what was that about recycled whatever? <laughs> but I'm a, But the thing about it is, is like. You talk about the youth like they're a dangerous problem. Right. But I have. As, as a separate thing. Yeah, like, a separate thing. Not even just as young people like, okay, there need to be things done to guide them. But right. Yeah. But yeah. I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give you, Dennis, a C because the C goes for how long you've been in freaking politics at this particular point in time. But you were down, and plus you were down there, and you did bring up the lead poisoning in the city of Cleveland. So I'm going to give you a C. Marissa, you will, you agree or disagree with that grade? I'm doing the same thing that I did last time. Oh, okay. Agreeing? You being neutral? I, so, honestly, I kind of do hit a point where when he and Kelly go at each other, I just tune out because I'm like, oh, not this shit again. Like, it's very difficult for me to focus on their points when their points seem to only be grenades launched at each other. And it's like, you know, I'll go back and rewatch, but I just, I'm just turned off at this point okay. because it's, it's just the battle of the two old men on the balcony at the Muppet Show. Two old colonizers? The grumpy old men? The grumpy old, <laughs> the grumpy old colonizers. Uh, Kevin ain't old. Is young. Well, he, he's not young. He's not young, but he's not old either. Yeah. All right, Jay, I said Kucinich. I always feel like I'm watching those guys at the Muppets. I'm like, what is... Oh, you mean the ones in the stands? Yeah. 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 Damn. Jay, Kus- Dennis, the menace that he calls himself. What grade you want to give him? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ride with you on this one. Right? I'm going to give him a C. Uh-huh. Um, I'm probably going to give him a C-. 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 minus. Um, there's a lot of work that he needs to do. And I think when you go back and look at his political career um, over the span of time, um, he was the youngest mayor. Um, and I think I read an article that, you know, if he pulls this out, that he's probably going to be the oldest mayor um, elected in the city of Cleveland. Um, do I think that he has some good points and he can bring some good things back into Cleveland? Um, yes, I do. Um, a lot of people are saying and pulling up the past that when he was mayor, that he, he operated with a very, um, um, let me see, what word am I going to use? Prejudice attitude towards black people. I'm going to go ahead and put it on out there. And the fact that um, he bankrupt um, the city um, when it came to CPP, and he did stand up for CPP, and when um, CEI wanted to come in and they wanted to monopolize you know, the, the power, the electrical powers um, in the city of Cleveland, and Dennis said, no, we're not going to do that. So he kind of saved um, the uh, CPP and, and a lot of banks in the area went against Dennis and um, didn't want to lend to the city. So it kind of drove the city into a, a bankrupt situation, which I don't think it was all Dennis's fault. So I get what he was trying to do, letting them know that you're not going to bully me. But Dennis, I'm going to tell you this now. If you don't get out here in these trenches on this east side of Cleveland, you're not going to have a chance to do anything other than what you're doing right now. There's some things that you need to do in order to move you up the scale because if you don't, you're doing us a disservice and you're splitting the vote. So, Dennis, I'm going to give you a C minus, and I hope to talk to you soon. All right. Let's take these other ones after the break. This is interesting. I, I gotta, we got to bring in Cassandra, so we're going to get can I finish? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jay, you might want to write that down for him in big bold letters so he'll remember that you said it because it's exactly what he needs to do. If you ask me what grade I would give Dennis Cassini, uh-huh. I'd give him an F. Ooh. 
Okay, you went, <laughs> you you went from. All right, I got a little quick story to tell y'all about Dennis Kucinich. She's a South High graduate just like I was. Uh -huh. And in my senior year, he was mayor, and he came down, and he wanted to play basketball in our all-star senior game. Ooh. I was the only girl they let play, too, because I was cold. I just have to say, I was I cold. I see that sweet jump. Yeah, I was cold. Okay, my best Dennis Kucinich story is I blocked his shot. Ooh. So every time I see, a, see him, I remind him, you remember when you was playing in that game and yeah, I blocked I got your it. shot? <laughs> okay. Dennis Kucinich literally is friends with Tony George. He will deny it. He will downplay it. Yep. But they started out at Tony's diner. They've continued their relationship. Now that it's not convenient, they downplay their relationship. But if you want Westlake corporate lackeys to come in and run the city of Cleveland, then y'all vote for them, okay? Because that's all... Dennis Kucinich is going to be good for us. Okay. He got a new comic book out. Y'all get it in the mail? It's yeah. called Dennis the Menace. Y'all got to read it. I got mine this morning. I almost started to bring it. But Are you serious? I'm uh, real serious. Right, it's a right, comic right, book. Well, yeah. Oh, I, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't get that yet. Oh, okay. you going to crack that okay. up. Okay. All right. So F, Larry, F. F, okay. C, C, C minus F. Uh, yeah, all right. We're going, we went, going down to the final three. We're going to run through these quickly. Bashir Jones, he got a B from me last time. He gets a C from me now. Agree or disagree? Start disagree. With, um, start with you, Marissa. Oh, well, Sherry. No, Sherry. Sherry, go ahead, Sherry. I disagree because he hasn't brought anything new to the table. He brings a, brings a lot of generalizations without explanations. But that's what you expect for him because that's what he did for four years in Ward 7. So, I did this, I said this, and let's do that. What grade would you give him at the last night's debate? F. Okay. F. Jay, you agree with uh, Sherry about the F for bad I'm going to agree with Sherry. About the me, F. Me and Sherry going to ride on this train. Oh, the, the F, F bad Because year. you're sitting here trying to call out Bree on his 17-year career and what he has not done in that 17 years. And I personally know what Zach has done. I've been in the trenches with Zach on some things when he was the councilman of Ward 2. Bashir, you've done nothing but grandstand and talk and take care of your friends and go over here on these trips to Israel and, and the money that you were spending is coming out of your ward money and probably some of your CDBG dollars for people in the back, explain the CDBG dollars real quick. C CDBG is community you block grant dollars. That right. money is allocated every year, and I believe we're on year 45 or year 46 is how they do it in the city of Cleveland. They go by years. So your money is allocated to you to do, to do programs within your prospective wards. That money is allocated for paint programs. That money is mm -hmm. allocated for extracurricular activities for the residents and the students in those particular wards. That CDBG block grant dollars is not being allocated and spent according to the HUD rules and guidelines. And the city of Cleveland ought to be ashamed of themselves because they didn't got audited and HUD then came in and audited yeah. them about this money. And Bashir, you've done nothing with yours but fly your ass over there to Israel making connections. And what have you brought back to Ward 7 that you went to Israel to try to get some uh, connections going, and you ain't done nothing with them connections, but make way for yourself. Uh, I'm going to give you an F and I stand on it and come holler to Sister Brock. You said Miss Price would take time. You trying to you 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 like you trying to throw gas on the inferno right about now, Brett? And if you come uh, holler for Jay, come uh, holler for me too. Uh, 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 he went over there to create stuff with the brothers, you know, that run the Ain't no brothers over there that look like you and I. Come on, let's be real about this. Uh, that, but that ain't that ain't them brothers that look like us. Listen. If you gonna do something for your ward by sheer, how about you get them reps in it together? How about you create some sustainable and affordable housing for the people over there in Ward 7? How about you help the museum that's over there in Ward 7, Brother Bashir? If you want to see change in your ward, Brother Bashir, you had four years to make it happen, bro, and you ain't do shit. And now you want us to make you mayor of a metropolitan city when you can't even balance a damn budget and let alone uh, know how much it costs to euthanize a damn uh, dog? You for you, before. You didn't get the council on time, Bashir. 
Jay, before we, but I'm not trying to have your son. I'm not trying to have your sons get after me if you bust a, ca a blood vessel about Man, Brother Bashir Jim. I understand. It, it's time to call these people out. It's time to call a spade a spade. Quit tiptoeing around it. If you're going to get at them, get at them. But when you get at them, get at them with facts that they cannot dispute. We, we, the reason I just don't understand why he would run for mayor in the first place after being spitted for him before you. <sighs> he needs to go on and do what he's called to do. See, he, What's that, he ain't you? no politician. He, need, he needs to go on, on the MSNBC and be a broadcaster because he, he a personality. He ain't no politician. Uh, we, we have a lot of personalities in this mayor's race. And he ain't no personality. He ain't uh, no person. He a personality. Uh, so, he's a Ma Ma Marissa? My, my, my letter I have. I mean, you, like your, your, your grades F. I, we probably already felt that. Marissa, what is Bashir's grade right now for that debate? My grade is some other questions. So <laughs> is he basically on track to follow the steps of someone who just recently went to jail? <laughs> Baby, listen. <laughs> Oh, shit. It's all messed up already. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, but, but what's the grade, damn it? It's <laughs> been published and it's out there. Oh. His finance campaign reports need to be reviewed, they need to be audited, and the shame on the Board of Elections for not stepping in and auditing his finance reports. Don't say that. Shame uh, on you, 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 don't say uh, that, Jay. Okay. You, you, you I'm already shut down you once. You want them? You want them to call out and shut this whole show down? You yeah, reason? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, they, they can shut Facebook down. Right. They can't, can't do nothing with this. All right, good. All right, good. Because of the, hey, you know, if, if but if I'm getting if I'm getting kidnapped in like five minute black suits, you know, somebody call. Security only for me. I don't know about the rest of you. Call my mama. <laughs> one shit. Phone call. Uh, uh, one phone call. All right. Call. That's so, all it's gonna take. Maybe for Jay, everybody else on that. Hey, <laughs> that about a bitch. Question, you know what? Is, it's a joke, it's a joke. Relax. Yeah, the board of elections taking a look at this, Jay. Don't bust the annualism. They, they, they taking they, a look. They, they, you know, they, they taking a look. Hopefully, the board of elections can look at this before the IRS does again. It's a few. I mean, a, before, yeah, IRS. before, oh, before, sure. before. No, up. I'm not talking about the IRS, the FBI, the ATF. Them alphabet yeah. bollocks. Them alphabet people. They got more alphabets than coronavirus right about now. There's going to be a Delta variant going to the city of Cleveland if somebody else gets busted for the stupid shit that Ken Johnson did. So oh my you, God. I, you, you, you. Is, we were barking about that years ago. Right. When I was the director of Union Miles, it was going uh, on then. Right. When this, I, this ain't just started. Right. So, so Marissa, you giving Bash your what? You know what? If he's on that path, I, I've got to go with them because I remember the conversation. Oh, from you give him an F too? F. And then Damn. the Obama <laughs> Y'all saw the video, right? Covered America. Which one? The one that said women ain't leaders. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, no. Don't uh, get me started on that. Well, we already you saw it. A woman. Uh, you like, were birthed from a woman's loins. How religion. dare you? This religion is I don't care. Right. Keep it to yourself. You can't bring it into the political Oh, uh, by the arena. way, by, by the way, Bashir, if you're going to talk about, you know, education and stuff like that, I'm, you know what, it now it's got to make my grade drop you down to a D because you didn't show up to the lead say thing. I'm so sorry. Um, so you got a D, F, F. You need to go back, education, you need to go back to school, bro, or come on this show and talk about it. All right, let's go on to the next. All right, the last one is your boy, Zach Reed. Jay, I'm going to let you. That ain't the last one. Oh, oh, the second. You want, you want Zach or Kevin Kelly? Let's go with Kevin. All right, Kevin Kelly, I gave a D. Disagreement or agreement? Because of his record as Cleveland City Council, and the thing about it is, you were endorsed by Frank Jackson. That means you'll keep Chief Calvin Williams on as far as the. Um, you can't say that. Well, I don't. Well, the thing about it is, I just feel like he's an extension of Frank Jackson, and there was a lot of shots at that came at him by Zach Reed, by other people talking about older leader leadership that's already in place. So I'm giving him a D. Anybody else want? Anybody else want to live? I'm gonna let you share. I'm gonna let you have at this one. You um, agree with that, D? Absolutely not. Okay, just because Frank Jackson endorsed Kevin Kelly doesn't mean Kevin Kelly's going to be a version of Frank Jackson. Okay, and while I'm on that topic, Frank Jackson done a lot of good in this city. When this city could have been on the verge of default, like Detroit did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
You don't care? Okay. I mean, no, I said okay. I do care. Okay. I mean, the thing is, like, my Frank like, Jackson. Frank Jackson pulled us through. He came up with innovative ways to create revenue to supplement so he, we didn't have to, to lay off a whole lot of people. Okay. We have to, by the state of Ohio mandate and their constitution, have a balanced budget every year. Yep. All right. Every so, year. Yep. We right. have to have it. Yep. Right. Okay. He guided us through that. He managed. See, y'all don't want to get me started because Mike Seals is going to want to cuss me out. So let me just tell you. Uh, this right now. Like, just, what, so what grade do you give Frank? What I mean, I I mean Kevin Kelly. Okay, I'm see, sorry. Kevin Kelly. That's wrong. I give Kevin Kelly an A. I'm a Kevin Kelly supporter. All right. Jay, Kevin Kelly. Well, I'm not going to give him A, but I'm going to give him a B minus. Um, do I think that he's an extension of Frank Jackson? Um, to a degree. Uh -huh. um, I have mad respect for Mayor Jackson. Um, and, and, and like she said, you know, Mayor Jackson has done a lot for the city of right. Cleveland. I think Mayor Jackson burnt himself out um, in sitting in that seat as long as he did. But I think he did what he thought was best for this city. But as I said before, a mayor is only as good as his council. So the council people around him um, did not do their due diligence to ensure that he was able to pull the things off that he needed to pull off. Do I think Kevin Kelly will do a good job um, as the mayor of Cleveland? Um, I'm still undecided on that. Um, do I believe that you know Kevin should have resigned from his seat as the vice chair of the Democratic Party when he was going through um, or were running for you know mayor of Cleveland? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think he followed suit with Miss Brown, um, so that puts a bad taste in my mouth um, for him because I think he should have gave up that seat while he mm. was running for mayor of Cleveland. But overall, I, I'm going to give Kelly a B minus, and um, and that's my story. All right, Marissa, great for Ke Kevin Kelly. I'm going to do a C. All right, going to do a C. All yes, right. Yes, primarily. Oh, uh, go, on. go ahead. So, for me, I already said how I felt with the way he and Dennis were going at each other. It was very. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, they're too old to be doing this. <laughs> like. You know, he ain't that old though, y'all. He's not young. Like, <laughs> he's old enough to know. Dennis is old enough. <laughs> Dennis is old. But <laughs> Kevin is also still old enough to know better than if he's just like, if your knee-jerk reaction is, oh, this bullshit, just ignore them and keep focused on what you have to work on. All okay. Right. All I right. can agree with that. All right. But Kelly definitely needs to bring it. He, uh. he, if he gonna, he needs to bring it. You Ooh. might want to call me. I can tell you how you can do it. La last person... Is Jay your boy Zachary? I'm gonna let you have him first. I give him, I gave him a B the last time. Stack actually stepped it up. He got an A from me. And the reason why is because when Bashir tried to call out on his experiences, Zach called him out on his record as far as being missing city council meetings and Zoom calls. And the thing about I it is, miss a Zoom call. I just listen. Don't I even. I did it. I, I was, You know what? I'm giving, Zach has been, like, when Zach was on here, he came in, you know, did his thing. And the thing about well, it I is, it yes, you did. And the thing about it is, is that Zach, I'm going to give him an A. I'm going to give him an A for what he did. So, Jay, you agree with the A or no? Well, you know, I, you know, I, mm -hmm. you know Zach and I, we've been through some trenches together. Uh -huh. And, you know, I've always been an advocate and, and, and a fighter. Plus, that. he came down for, for the lead safe thing. Yeah, I, I wasn't down there, so I can't, I can't speak on no, that. No, I, I was down but there. I, I can speak to Zach's work. All right. Um, and, and I know how Zach is. And I've always said that if there was ever anyone that got Mayor Jackson up off his treasure chest and got him up out, the, up out of that office and out campaigning on the campaign trail, the last election cycle at five o'clock in the morning, waving to people because he, Zach was gaining on him, and I, I'm gonna give Zach that. And I think that the last mayoral election, we should have been seeing Mayor Reese. Mm -hmm. We should have been, see, yeah, I, I, I totally ride with that. One. We should have been seeing yeah, so, Mayor Reese. So what is this time around? Um, I'm gonna hate to say this. But I think he passed his prime. But I'm gonna go ahead and give him a B plus for uh, effort. But I, I believe he he passed his prime. All right. He had his opportunity 
in 2017 to get that seat. Right. He was the only candidate I know that got the mayor up off his treasure chest and had him on, on the corner at, at 5 o'clock in the morning at 116th and Buckeye waving at the people. All right, I did, there too. All right, did any? This, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Before but we need to bring Cassandra and her, and her friend on. Before I, all right, anybody agrees with me or Jay with the grade? Marissa, do you agree with me or Jay, or Jay with the grade? And what was your grade again? A. And she said B. I mm. said B plus. She said B, B plus. plus. So I do. And I do understand the bias, especially when you work with someone. I will go B. I do agree with some of the points that you did say about he has passed time, but he has done a great deal of work. He has. He has a great body of political yeah. work. I can't take that from yeah. him. I can't. So, yeah. so, all right, Sherry. Uh, I don't agree with none of y'all. Huh? All right. <laughs> okay. Um, I got one Zach Reed story, and you'll know what the grade is after I tell the story. Oh, Lord. Uh, 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 oh, we Lord. Gotta, it's going to be a quick one. All right. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Dude got up the console, made a speech, tried to take recre capital recreation improvement money Ooh. away from Phyllis Cleveland around the dirt bike park. Phyllis Cleveland is one of my friends, okay, but she's also an extraordinary councilwoman. Smartest woman down there, most people Whoa. will tell you that. Was the smartest woman down there, there you go. So anybody that can make my unaggressive, <laughs> easy going, mild-mannered boss, Phyllis Cleveland, okay. stand up at city council, go at Zach Reed and say, and if you don't like it, catch me outside. Yeah, I know, Jay. <laughs> now you think about that, right? Wow. I laughed so hard. And I thought it was hilarious first, but Phyllis she never done. Yes, she said it. She was real serious. Okay. He can't be mayor of city of Cleveland. Right. So I can't give Zach a grade. He, he don't even deserve F. Oh, okay. All right. Break time. Break. Thank you very much. That ends the, that ends the grading scale right now. Some of y'all got to step up. Some of y'all can't. This is um, summer madness. Uh, we're going to bring Cassandra, in, in, Cassandra McDonald in. Sherry Bowman, thank you very much for coming to the headline. Uh, yeah, and man. I'm sure that I will probably get shut down for more social media stuff after you leave. Thank you All very right. much. That's okay. All right. Just you pay my right. fine. <laughs> yeah, that's a true story. I <laughs> believe you. Wow. Got up and walked across where he, he ran out the other side. <laughs> Zach has done some crazy stuff now. Yeah. He's done some crazy stuff to people. 